Ever wonder why the chicken crossed the road? Probably had more of a plan than our liberal government. Now that's a zinger to get us started. It's no secret that our liberal friends have been making some interesting decisions lately. And by interesting, I mean baffling. Take their recent policy changes, for instance. You'd think they were throwing darts at a dartboard and going with whatever they hit. This approach might work for a game night, but when it comes to governing, it's a recipe for chaos. They're like an artist who starts painting before choosing a color scheme. The result? A mishmash of colors that leaves everyone squinting and scratching their heads in confusion. Their inability to foresee the consequences of their actions is like watching a hamster trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. It's cute, but you know it's not going to end well. Well, at least the chicken made it to the other side. Remember when you thought you could juggle? Yeah, our government thought so too. Have you ever seen a child trying to juggle? They excitedly throw all the balls up in the air only to watch them fall down one after the other? That's what it's like watching our current government. They've been throwing up initiatives like a kid with a bag of candy without any real plan on how to keep them all in the air. Let's take a moment to recount some of these comedy acts. First, there was the Green Revolution, a grand plan to transition the country to renewable energy. They threw that ball up high, promising a shiny, eco-friendly future. But alas, they forgot to lay the groundwork, to build the infrastructure, or to secure the funding. Before we knew it, the Green Revolution was more of a green collapse. Then came the Digital Dream, an ambitious initiative to digitize the entire nation. We were all set to be propelled into the future. But it seems they didn't consider the digital divide, the lack of technical know-how, or the need for cybersecurity, and so the digital dream quickly turned into a digital nightmare. And let's not forget the Universal Healthcare Initiative. The idea was noble, the intention was good, but the execution? It was like watching a juggler with buttery fingers. They promised healthcare for all, but didn't think about the logistics, the funding, or the manpower. The result? A healthcare system that is more sick than the patients it's supposed to treat. All these initiatives, these balls thrown in the air, they all came crashing down. They were launched without proper planning, without clear priorities, and without efficient use of resources. It's been a comedy of errors, a bad juggling act, a spectacle of mismanagement. The only thing they managed to juggle was our patience. Ever tried to hide a mess by throwing a rug over it? That's our government's favorite trick. It's like watching a toddler deny eating cookies while the crumbs are still on their face. It's the art of denial, and our leaders have mastered it. They've become experts at the not-me game. A scandal breaks out, not them. Economic downturn? They've never heard of it. It's as if they believe they can simply sweep their blunders under the proverbial rug and poof, problem solved. But the rug is bulging, straining at the seams with the weight of their denial. It's not just a hill anymore, it's turned into a mountain. And the more they deny, the more the mountain grows. It's a never-ending cycle of denial, deflection, and more denial. But hey, at least they have a fancy rug. So what do juggling chickens and rugs have in common? A question as perplexing as the liberal government's tenure. As we've seen, it's been a circus, a comedy show, and a masterclass in denial. Imagine juggling, but instead of balls, we're dealing with poor planning and misplaced priorities. Just when you think they've got a handle on it, another policy drops. It's like watching a chicken run around without a clue. Speaking of chickens, they could teach this lot a thing or two about having a plan, and then there's the rug, always ready to cover up the mess. More often than not, it's the lack of accountability that gets swept under it, but hey, out of sight, out of mind, right? In the end, it's a mix of bad decisions, confusion and denial. It's like a recipe for disaster, and boy, has it been a disaster. They all make more sense than our liberal government's policies. Maybe next time they should hire the chicken. At least it had a plan. Believe it or not, there's a silver lining to this story. You, yes, you, the viewer, you hold the power to make a change. It starts with being informed and ends with taking action. How, you ask, by spreading the word. If you found this information helpful, enlightening, or even amusing, don't keep it to yourself. Share it. Let others know about the juggling act, the headless chicken run, and the rug that's getting too full to hide anything anymore. Remember, the power of social media is immense. A simple click can go a long way. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe to our channel for more such content. And most importantly, smash that notification button.
That way you won't miss any of our videos. And hey, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below with your thoughts. Did you find this video insightful? Do you agree with our analysis? Or maybe you think we missed something? We're all ears. Your voice matters and together we can make a difference. So next time you see a chicken, remember it might just have a better plan than our government. And if you see a rug, well, you know what's under it. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and remember the power is in your hands. Zin.